Hi, this is John. Today I'm cooking some lox uh, in my um, toaster oven. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk about for this video. Uh, that's uh, picking this lock. As you know, I'm a lefty. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to pick this lock uh, with the wrong hand. So I will be using the pick with my right hand and tensioning with my left hand. I'll uh, see how that goes. This is quite strange as I can't feel anything. It's quite a sturdy pick so um, it shouldn't matter uh, all that much. This is also quite an easy lock um, when I pick with my left hand. I don't feel anything, the tension range is slipping out. Oh, that was a nice... I've picked this lock once before with the wrong hand. Um, let's see how long it takes to get it on camera. There, full set. This is nice. Where's not not even a full set. Go open now, please. Hopefully this won't take too long. This feels bad with two finger. My right hand is not used to this pose. I don't want to, I want to change round ha, ra, eh, hands around, but it would violate the challenge. No, ah, there we go. Ah, it's open. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> now for cutting the lock. Um, zoom out. Put away. Where's my follower? There you are. Should use a shim. I don't have a shim at hand, so I will go without one. Oh, and these are quite tiny pins. I've lost one, I've lost a few. What? I did not expect this lock to have these. Um, there we go. I got the key, so I will put them in the right orientation when I put them back.
one standard to a spool. I did not feel the spool. Three is weird because it's hollow. What a strange lock. Four is on the floor. I will get it momentarily. Five is the standard. And six is a spool. No, six is serrated. That's strange. I will see if I can find the, the key pin, a uh, driver pin from chamber four. There we go. <coughs> it's also a standard pin. The key pins are on the wrong spot, but I will put them um, in the right hole when I put it back. Uh, what's strange is um, this. Uh, driver pin has a hole in it. It's like a pin in pin, but there's no no other pin, no pin in it. Uh, and the key pins are all stepped, like if it's a T pin. This will very easily overset, and I've done so. The full set was not the spool; it was one of the key pins that was overset. So I picked it uh, much quicker than I I expected. Uh, these key pins or these pins are also quite tiny, quite thin in comparison to regular pins. Uh, let's put this one uh, back together. Oh wait. There. There is the pin. It's a pin in pin. Never expected this. I expected this one to be all standard pins. Oh well. Let's put it back together. Uh, hole six. Go in there. Can I show you on the camera? It's quite hard to see. I'm just going to upload this one as is. No editing, no second takes. Just upload. Um, where I go? This is the pin and pin one. So I put in the um, large part first. I put in the pin and pin second. I will tear this uh, lock down again after this video uh, because I want to inspect the locking mechanism further. 
but for now um, I just want to finish the challenge. There we go. Short, longer, longer, longer. Okay. Shortest goes there. Mm. Almost longer. Longer. No. Nope. That's not right. It goes in hole five. Yeah. Six, five, four, and three. These look flush. Um, let's put it back together. Oh, I'm forgetting something. That's a drill protection. One drill protection. Second drill protection. Goes in. Locks up. Put it on. Uh, just slightly. Doesn't really matter. And works fine. Thank you for watching this video. Um, this was a Maxis, and I didn't expect uh, these pins to be in here. Uh, and I also didn't expect to pick this fast with my right hand. It's something I'm going to um, train more. Thank you for watching. Bye.